Oh, wow. <laughs> it was like just a whole can to open up. I don't know that I have words at this point. Guys are really still talking like that? Is that really happening? I, I have never seen such explicit misogyny in my entire life. He's killing me. <laughs> when you look at those polling numbers and you see the percentage of men that are in favor of Trump, you just wonder what's going on there. What aren't we talking about? What do we need to fix in our society? Because it's, it's sad right now. I think it's sad when you don't want your own children to watch the presidential debates because you're worried about the kind of material they're going to cover. We are starting to see a country divided. We've come in so many ways in this country so far. And of course there's going to be some resistance to, to where we are. What I, I think we're going to need to get to is where we have public and private partnerships that help the have-nots um, rise up in society without at huge detriment to the haves. I think it's as important an election as I've seen in my lifetime. There's a lot of young folks that we know uh, just don't want to vote this season and we think it's really important for them to get out there. I really hope that young people get out and vote. I know that when I was younger voting seemed um, more difficult than it is. The one thing I hope is that we end this coming together, not breaking apart.